Here is the door knocker slash battering ram. The one I have here is the door knocker. It is a three quarter inch ball bearing. Now this is a uh, completely flexible braid. So when the uh, bearing makes impact with a hard object, you can see it bounces back. Now, if you're not careful, that bounce back can catch you in the wrist or the arm and actually um, cause a lot of pain, maybe an injury. I've noticed that it is more likely to come back and hit you in the hand when you make contact perfectly horizontal. See that hit me right here. Or vertical. Bounce right back. If you hit the target with a glancing blow either up or down, the bounce will tend to go off and spin around your hand and not come back and hit you. Okay? So that's something to keep in mind if you're striking with an item like this. But still, the heavier the, um, the end, the more concerning it's going to be if you hit yourself. So another technique for making contact, instead of following through, following through with the hit, which makes the ball bounce back, you can make contact with sort of a whipping motion. You see someone crack a whip, they send it out, pull it back, and crack the whip. So, same with this. If when you make contact, you pull your arm back, you can actually, as it's coming back, you can pull your arm back and you can um, avoid that hit. See that? So that's a uh, three-quarter inch ball bearing. Now this is the monkey's fist keychain. All right, this has a one-inch ball bearing. A different design, the handle being this part, the monkey's fist fob on that end, and you could hold your keys here. So it's sort of pretty inc inconspicuous when you use it as a keychain. So you hold it has a knot here that goes in between your fingers to help with retention. And then same thing applies. If you follow through horizontally, there's a chance this thing comes back, hits you in the hand. So you either do a glancing blow up or down, or as I mentioned, a sort of popping, whipping motion so you don't hit yourself. Next we have an item that I do carry on my keychain. So this has a three ounce uh, ball bearing, I'm sorry, three ounce lead ball in the, in the inside. As I mentioned, um, when it's mixed with your keys, it's pretty inconspicuous. The keys themselves add quite a bit of weight to this item and I'm not going to swing at this, this with my keys on it. But uh, that adds several more ounces with the keys and uh, certainly creates a lot of uh, potential for damage when you look at all the sharp edges on these keys. But another way it can be used, if you hold the keys can sort of form a handle and you could swing with just the ball bearing. I'm sorry, the, um, the lead. That has quite a bit more impact, uh, more power for the same size as the one inch steel ball because there's pretty substantial difference in density and weight between lead and steel. Alright, next we have, this is the Black Widow billiard ball lanyard. So this, because of its length, even though the weight of this uh, ball is not much heavier than that of a four ounce uh, lead ball it can generate a lot more velocity due to the length. So that's that item. Now because of the um, nature of all of these to bounce back and cause you to have to really uh, avoid fully committing, fully committing 
and following through on the hit. I wanted to uh, try to come up with um, a design that was more like a traditional blackjack. Something that had a stiffener inside to prevent it from being able to uh, come back on impact and, and hit the um, person that's swinging it. So. I have here two um, traditional impact weapons. This is a blackjack. It has some sort of a spring on the inside of the handle. See that? Prevents it on impact from being able to come back and hit you in the wrist. This is a, called a sap. This has a lead insert as well. It has a metal, thin metal bar through here. And um, in the same way prevents this thing from coming back on impact and hitting you in the hand. So because of that you can put a tremendous amount of force including follow through into the strike. You can see the difference. There's no need to sort of pull back. You can just take a complete swing with it. Now that, this one here is even heavier and the impact is again significant. You can see what that's doing to the, the heavy bag. That is powerful. So trying to emulate that in a paracord creation, what I did was I did a little bit of shopping, picked up a few um, few springs. First I went looking around at Home Depot and saw some uh, drain pipe augers. That's what this is here. The drain pipe auger is essentially a spring. But it's not a very stiff spring. That's what I used when I made this item. Okay, so it's, there's a, there's a uh, drain pipe auger spring cut off installed in this handle. The problem with this item, and this has a six ounce, or I think this is an eight ounce lead ball on the inside, a huge lead ball bearing. On impact, on impact, this guy can come right back, hit you in the hand. And that is going to be very, very painful. So this one here still requires a, a slap and pull it back. Now there's a lot of weight on this, so it can do quite a bit of quite a bit of, of damage on impact just because of the weight, but still I'm uncomfortable with it because I don't like the fact that you can't follow through with the strike. So then I looked at a couple of other different springs. Put them here. The top two are three quarter inch in diameter. The bottom is a half an inch. And there's a difference between the top two springs um, in thickness. So one is a little bit uh, more resistant to bending than the other, even though they look the same. So that's what I made this out of. Alright, so this has a monkey's fist on the top. It has the inner strands running through the spring and out the bottom, where I tied a lanyard knot, doubled, to form the loop and to prevent that from popping through. I didn't cover this with a knot because I wanted to, to be able to see how this worked and how it was constructed. So this right here, this right here really is comparable to this, this blackjack. It's uh, a little bit lighter, but it's made with paracord and the spring gives it amazing power. So you have no problem with this particular item following through on the strike as well. So 
so one of the next things I do will be to take these items and hit um, gallon jugs of water. You might remember my old Steel Saints uh, videos where I hit gallon jugs of water. Well, I want to see what the what the um, impact uh, power is against that mass, eight pound mass of water with these various items.